Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. 78-year-old Elmer Gockley was a popular guy on a cold winter day in Pennsylvania. His 1917 International 816 tractor in original condition was one of the stars of the Lebanon Valley Indoor Classic Tractor Expo. My dad always talked about them. He always talked about the 816, you know, how they were, had the radiator behind the engine and the sloped hood. He said, they kind of remind you of an old Mack truck. And I happened to get to this sale and, well, back in those days, all you had to do was outfit the scrap man. Nobody was collecting them. It could have easily gone for scrap. I bought it in 1958. The tractor was only 40 years old. And I, I own it 60 years. It's 100 years old. I send in to International Archives, which are in Wisconsin now. I didn't get as much information as I would have liked, but I got serial numbers and stuff. And this is one of the first, it's a VP model. They made it 1917 through 1918, but they never had a cutoff at the end of the year. It was just a continuous running serial number. Started at 501 and went to 3700. But, so I figure it's a 17. They, don't, they didn't keep good records, because international, when they shipped them, they got them off the assembly line and send them to a dealer. There was no paperwork. It just, this guy gets one, this guy. So there was no paperwork until it got to the dealer. Then the dealer had to do some paperwork to fill out a warranty and stuff like that. So I figured it, it was lo sold here locally, but I can't find out what dealer it was. The records that do exist show that International Harvester built more than 33,816 tractors from 1917 to 1922. But Elmer says the design varied greatly during those years. They had an awful lot of changes. They made three different models from 1917 through 1922. And they've had probably a thousand changes to them. They've changed the engine, they've changed, the configuration was still the same, but this one here, the first two years, doesn't have an oil pressure system in the crankcase. It has a big oiler. That oiler oiled the whole engine. You didn't run any oil in the crankcase. You just had to drain a little out every now and then. They only had that oiler for about two years, so this VP model. Then they went, they put an oil pump in the crankcase and had a pressurized system. So they've had, so many changes through the few years that they made the tractor. One thing that didn't change was how ruggedly this machine was built a century ago. It weighs more than 3,600 pounds. They weren't afraid to put a lot of steel in things when they build them. And another thing I was kind of proud of on this tractor, the name, it's a lot clearer on the other side, but it says manufactured by International Harvester Corporation, Chicago, USA. How many tractors today that you know of are made in the USA? Very few. This was a United States built tractor and they used a lot of steel in them. And even though the 816 was probably an improvement over working with horses, Elmer says driving this tractor can be a bit of a chore. Of course, we didn't have far steering in these days. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, but I took all the, I don't have any of the cleats on because you don't, can't be in here on this fancy concrete with cleats or like out on blacktop or something. So it, it drives a lot smoother without the cleats on it. I think this tractor spent a lot of its life up on the barn floor, mostly belt work. It was, well, it's an 816. It had eight horsepower on the draw bar and 16 on the belt. Now, when you compare it to a 16 horsepower lawn tractor today, they're, how can that be? <laughs> Elmer's proud that he's kept this tractor in original condition all these years, and he even built a special new building to keep his prized tractor and a few others inside. I tore my old garage down at home and I put a new one up last year. And for my tractors, I have several other tractors too. My wife said, well, you're allowed to put a garage up, but she said, I'm keeping my car in it. So I, I couldn't fill it with tractors. She has her car in there now. <laughs> no, she is kind of the boss, you know. 
No, we're not going to argue with that, but hopefully the all-original 1917 International 816 can find a warm place inside the garage, at least for the winter. Good work, Elmer.